Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. And most importantly, I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season. And here's hoping to a much better New Year. And along those lines, I really want to thank you guys uh, for all your support and views and comments and all that sort of stuff this year. All that interaction has actually really gotten me through this year because it has been, well, well you know, it's just been one of those years. And I really, truly do want to thank you all for that. And like I said, hopefully next year will be much better. And uh, we can d continue to do some interesting things. Along those lines, I do want to do a two-month update on this. It's going to be mostly focusing on the plants because uh, I really want to go into this much more in-depth and thorough at the three-month mark, which will probably be at the end of January. And also because this is Christmas and I want to spend some time with my family and I didn't really have time to do any new recording or building or anything. So I figured this is a good time to insert this. So as you can see, and shortly coming up, there's going to be uh, a side by side for day zero and the two month mark for each of the three substrates. And it's going to mostly focus on the Red Luigia and the Valsen area, but like I said, later on, I'm going to cover it all much more in detail. So this is a gravel, and you can see between day zero and two months, that is very good growth. Uh, the plant is healthy and has good color, and uh, that's the most important thing. And as you can see between day zero and two months here, uh, again, it has sent up a lot more shoots. Uh, the plants are healthy and the leaves are good. Not as good as the other ones, but that's not necessarily the most important thing. Uh, but that again, it is your decision on all those sorts of things anyway. This one here is probably the most productive of all the three tanks. Uh, not just for growth of plants, but other stuff. I'm, I'm going to try and steer away from all that as well. But as you're looking between day zeros and uh, the two month mark, also keep an eye on you know, the shrimp population, the fish, uh, the snails, and, you know, general health of the tank and everything. And as you can see, the tannins are reducing in this. And if I were setting this up for, like, a, a client or a display tank, even in the fish room, and it wasn't an experiment, I probably would leave out the extra uh, tub of uh, soil in the back. And at this point, those tannins would be almost completely gone. Uh, but for the experimental reason, I wanted to make sure it had maximum soil for that. So just to keep it in line with the commercial substrate, because it is entirely filling, you know, the whole uh, under gravel filter. So it was important to have that. And as you can see, the plants are lush, uh, they're healthy, they're full of color. Everything in this tank is growing really nicely, except, of course, the subwasser tang. And that's probably just because of the extra tannic acids, but that's fine. Uh, there's no one system that you're going to set up that's going to grow every plant, so that's not really a problem at all. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side here shortly. And you can see from day zero to two months for the Red Luigia, that is significant growth, and that is more than enough. <laughs> And again, these are things that you guys, as you're, you know, because you're going to be setting up tanks your own, what you find is more interesting and what you like the look of. So that's also very important as well. And as you can see here, <laughs> the valve scenario is just taking it right off. And I can imagine what this is going to look like in six months. I suspect I'm going to have to probably, you know, um, prune all that stuff back, but we'll see how that goes. So this is the commercial substrate and day zero. And you can see at this point, again, I wouldn't really want to get into the, the shrimp part of this, but there's a lot of shrimp in there right now. And that is not the case now. So again, like I said, this is something you have to keep in mind as well. So here we are. This is two months later, and the plants are growing really well. Personally, I think the soil is doing a little bit better. But again, there's a whole pile of aesthetics involved in here as well and other things to consider. But I'm going to get into all that stuff in... Uh, in January and then again uh, six uh, sorry three months after that so the six month mark and then of course I'm gonna keep these going so we'll see how they are you know long term after that as well because that's when I first set these up I wanted that aspect to be there as well I wanted this to be an extremely long-term thing but the six month mark is probably going to be uh, sufficient for decisions and for you guys to have a picture in your mind of 
how this all works. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. This is going to be obviously a short video because it's Christmas. I really didn't want to take any time away from your family. I just wanted to keep the habit going, of course, of keeping my videos up. And as you can see, the shrimp and snails are not doing as well in this. And that is something that's important too. So this is going to end up uh, finishing off with a last side-by-side -side between uh, day zero for the Red, Red Luigi and the Valis scenario, and that will be pretty much it for this video. Again, significant growth, uh, very healthy. Uh, there's really nothing you can say wrong with that aspect of it. And again, the fish population is uh, fine, not as good as the soil, which is unusual. And here is the Valis scenario again, lush and doing very well as well. So thank you very much for watching, have a Merry Christmas, and I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.